Welcome everybody, let's get cooking some chicken. It's a little bit of effort, but it pays off. It's one of my favorite dishes. Here we go. Some salt, quite a lot of salt, but we're gonna discard all this salt. What we're using it is to exfoliate the chicken. So we're just rubbing it around. Gives the chicken a good clean. Give it a good massage. I don't know what, I don't wanna know what you're thinking right now. Now we just rinse it off, inside and out. Beautiful and clean. As soon as your water comes to the boil, carefully lay your chicken in there, and you want it just to cover it. Bring it to the boil and all the scum will start coming to the surface. Let it bubble away for four to five minutes, maybe even six minutes, then we'll drain it off. Look at that, looking great. Now, we're gonna to top that up with cold water. Add some sliced ginger. I've used a teaspoon to peel it rather than a peeler. So just as thin as you can get. It's quite a bit of ginger and we're gonna discard all this at the end, but it's gonna add real flavor. And then our garlic, we're just going to roughly chop up. Rescue those guys, in it goes. Along with some spring onion cut into chunky pieces. Now we'll get that back on the heat. As soon as it comes up to a simmer, turn the heat down, put the lid on, we're gonna cook it for 25 to 30 minutes or until we get an internal temperature of 65 to 68 degrees C. Brown rice, we need to wash it. So get some water in there, and we're just gonna rub it around here like this. And we'll strain that off. You can see the water's getting a little cloudy in there. Strain that off, and we'll do that three times. Now the rice is clean, we'll get some sesame oil into a pot, some chopped up shallots, pretty fine. And I've also got some grated ginger and we need some garlic, so just to peel them into a glass jar. Give it a good shake, just like you're making yourself a cocktail. Doesn't take long. Pull them out and you can see that this will just come off really easily now. And we'll just give those a fine chop up. Doesn't have to be too fine, we want a little chunky garlic in our rice. There we go. Put that in. The wonderful thing about this dish is your kitchen smells fantastic. So slowly bring the heat up and saute these until your onion and garlic are soft. It'll be three to four minutes, but you don't want to add any colour. These guys have been in here for about four minutes and as you can see I haven't added any colour to them. I'm going to get that rinsed rice in there. I'm going to mix it around, so mix it all together. I've made some chicken stock, and I've used this, my concentrate. You literally just mix it with hot water, and then whatever's left in here will last in the fridge. It makes eight cups. It's absolutely delicious. Low in sodium. Just come up to the boil. Let's turn the heat down, get a lid on. There we go, it's been on for 25 minutes. Now we're gonna carefully pull it out and the best thing to do is to get your tongs into the inside of it and just let a bit of that juice come out and then into an ice bath. And shock, cool it down a little bit. So by shocking it like that, we keep the meat soft and tender and the skin firm. So drain all the ice out of there, pop it in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some paper towels and we're gonna dry the skin, get rid of all that moisture. Just carefully damp it. Don't wanna rip that skin. Now we're gonna keep that skin just perfect by a little drizzle of sesame oil. 
and it'll give it a nice shine. There we go, we'll leave that until our rice is cooked. The flavors from this broth, from the ginger and garlic are wonderful, but it needs salt. So now is the time to just get that seasoning right. Give it a good stir up. Perfect. Our ginger chicken is not complete unless we've got a spicy sauce. So some ginger goes in, some lime juice, some garlic goes in there, some honey just to give it a little bit of sweetness, some sriracha sauce goes in, and then we're gonna use some of our reserve chicken broth that we've made just until we get the right consistency. I'll put about three tablespoons in there. Let's blitz that up. Woohoo! That's what I call a chili sauce. Look at that. A few little chunks of garlic in there. Keep the vampire away. Now the rice is cooked, take it off the heat, leave the lid on and let it sit for eight to 10 minutes. Heat the grape seed up until it starts to shimmer, almost gets a wavy effect. If it starts to smoke, it's too hot, don't use it. Be careful when you put the ginger in because it has the potential to splatter. Get those hands out of the way. You can see it's all bubbling up there. In goes the garlic. In goes the spring onion. There's no heat on here. Just let it sizzle away. Look at that. The smell is just incredible. So this is kind of like an oil, ginger and garlic spring onion sauce. Just a touch of soy sauce and just a little bit of cider vinegar. Get a little sharpness going on there. And it's done. Okay, our chicken's cooked, our rice is done, our spicy sauce is done, and then this one, which is our ginger spring onion and garlic oil sauce. Well, this is my version of a classic, but trust me, you can't go to Asia right now, so you have gotta love it. And I'll tell you what, it's gonna taste fantastic, and I've got some friends here, and we're gonna find out any minute. The broth is reheated and it's now time to cut the chicken, fluff the rice. Rice has been sitting for 10 minutes, a little salt in there, maybe just a touch more. I'm gonna fluff it up. There we go, perfect. Got that sesame flavor through there. So that is good to go. Rice is ready. Let's cut the chicken. So I'm going to take the leg off first. Look at this. Look at that, that chicken is beautiful and moist. And I can save the bones to make another stock if I want. All right, let me do some broth. Have some of that broth, that is just delicious. You can drink it like a soup, pour it over the rice, whatever you like. There you go. Cheers everybody, that's what I reckon is the most important thing. Cheers, Happy brother. days. Happy days. Yeah, happy days. Happy days. Garlic ginger chicken. A little bit of work involved. Let's see if it's worthwhile. Have some sauce. Bit of each. This is the winner, this stuff. I love it. Alright, can't wait to try it. Some flavours going on there, eh? Clean and ginger. What do you reckon? That's beautiful. Mmm. Ginger's a hit. My 
one bun. Send the shift back. You like it? Yeah, really do. Happy days.